I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I hadn't wanted it to end up this way. All I wanted was to be together with all of you forever. Oh, the torches are lighting. What the hell? What is this? The Dark One, Scion of Despair. The goddess who betrayed her friends after knowing despair. The Dark One. I suppose you almost hate me now that you know who I truly am. What? That's... that's a lie! It has to be! It isn't. It's all true, Sigurd. But make no mistake, I have no ill will towards any of you. In fact, it was because I loved you so much that I couldn't afford to let you go. Let us go? What are you talking about? What did you do to us back then, Lelia? Something that I'm certain I'll be damned for. I threw away our old lives in order to bring all of you here with me. Threw away? No, don't tell me. Lelia, you... Traitor! I'll never forgive you for this! Ugh! Ruby! Gods, come on, Ruby, hang in there. My arm! That asshole sent it straight through my arm! I'm sorry, Ruby. I'm so sorry. But I can't. I can't let you interfere. Because then you would all leave me behind. You say that, Lelia. But what about the rest of us? You've betrayed us, and now you've even hurt Ruby. If you care about us so much, then why are you doing all this? Because there was no other way. Don't you see? Without the three of you, I'd have no one left. And that's why I have to keep you here, even if I have to do it by force. Please. Please don't make me fight you, late. Ugh! No. Sigurd. You don't understand. I don't want to fight any more than you do. But if you try to leave the tower, I'll have to. No, Eddie, don't! Lelia, I... I'm sorry. If I've ever let you down before, if there was anything I could have done to make you feel so alone and so hopeless, then I'm sorry. But this... This isn't you. This isn't who you really are. The Lelia I know. Her love for us is gentle and warm, not selfish and obsessive. You have to remember that. Return to your senses and stop this madness now. Edric! No, you're wrong. I've always been selfish. I'd be lying to you if I said otherwise. Lelia! Lelia! Don't do this! I'm begging you! <sighs> no, stop. C coward Come back and face us, you! I must go. I have to ensure that the tower is sealed, that the three of you won't try to leave this place. And when this is all over, we'll finally be together again, even if you wish to hate me for it. No, Lelia. Lelia! Damn you. Damn you! Give her back, damn you! Eddie! Lelia, why? Because she got the most drama. You can listen in on up to two conversations between party members. Please select a party member. Oh, well, gosh, I was going to uh, save and quit <laughs> because I'm like out of time. But I guess we'll look at some conversations, huh?
Uh, we'll, we'll start with Edric this time. <laughs> Please select a second party member. Edric, I can only imagine how hard you've taken all of this. You know that none of it is your fault, right? God damn it. You know I hate it when you close yourself off like this. Ruby and I, we're both worried about you, so please. I appreciate the concern, Sigurd, but it is nothing but cold comfort in light of the facts. Her fears, her anxieties, I should have known they would lead to such an outcome. If I had... Perhaps I could have stopped all of this. You're not perfect, Edric. None of us are. No one could have seen this coming. Our only choice now is to keep going, to look for some way to stop this, to bring Lelia back to her senses. And what if we can't? What if the Lelia I, that we loved and cared for can no longer be reached? What if... That's enough. How can you say you care about her if you won't even believe she can be saved? Please, Edric. Of all people, I would hope that you wouldn't give up on her. I'm... I'm sorry, Sigurd. I shouldn't have said such disgraceful things. My guilt, my feelings, I cannot let them get in the way if we're to bring her back to us. Then don't let them. Let them keep you going instead. Just don't keep them buried like you usually do. I don't think I could handle another friend coming to despair. Sigurd. Oh, only one more conversation. Well, we'll do Edric and Ruby. I feel like Edric's kind of centric to this anyway. Any? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know how much you cared about her. If I'd known, if I'd known she would do this to you, I would never have teased you about it like I did. I just... Not now, Ruby. Please. I know you mean well, but... Alright, just let me know if you need anything, okay? Wait. There is one thing I'd like to ask you. Huh? What is it? If I'd told her, like you wanted me to, would it have changed anything? I... I don't know. I wish I could tell you. But even I can't understand why she's done all of this. I see. Thank you, Ruby, for your concern. Hmm. You're welcome, I guess. Damn you, Lelia. If only you knew what you've done to him. Guys, I know it's going to be hard going on without Lely at our side, but we have to stay strong. We'll have to keep moving forward if we're going to save... What was that? Uh... No, not again. What is it? Is it that dragon, or...? You two! Uh-huh. There you are, you pesky little miscreants. What? The Guardians! <laughs> Found you! You! You bastards! How dare you come and kick us when we're already down! Ah, oh, yes, of course. How insensitive of us. Oh, I suppose you now finally realize the significance of our warnings. Oh, that was her saying that. that uh, that's right. Big Sister and I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Now you all know the truth about the Dark One, but was it really worth the price? That's... that's enough! How dare you sully Lelia's name in such a way! If we four truly are your masters, then I command you to hold your tongues! 
My apologies, dear sorcerer. You may have once ruled this tower, but our duties cannot be abandoned. We guardians are to protect you all from the terrible truth, even if we must defy you to do so. Get back! I swear on my honor I'll cut you both to pieces if you come any closer! Jumping to conclusions again, are we, Sir Knight? Worry not. We have no intention of killing you. Lady Lelia would never allow that. But we must stop you from interfering with her plans. Uh, no! Let them go! Oh, not all of them. I'm guessing that's her saying it. What? Who? Looks like we have an unwanted guest, sis. Was it Ami? It was Ami! Ami? What the hell are you doing? You'll get yourself killed! Foul creatures! Wicked beasts of despair! I won't let you take them! What? What is this? Ami, what are you? Saved by Ami. I was gonna say, a boss fight after that long cutscene would have been a bit much. They got away! Big sis, let's go after them! No, Marsha. That girl was no mere interloper. She presents a threat far greater than we realized. She can provide them with healing items. For now, we have no choice but to regroup and reconsider our strategy. The preservation of Lady Lelia's dream must remain our top priority. Sixth floor, the labyrinth. Who oh boy. Ding. Are we all separated into single party groups now? Well, gosh, that means there's a Lelia section that we're never going to see in this lit playthrough. Ugh. Not this again. Where am I? Huh? What was that? Oh, brave souls, you who have faced unimaginable strife and terrible betrayal, listen well, for the journey ahead will be more treacherous than ever. The place to which I have brought you all lies at the heart of Turavero. It is a place where even the Dark One and her servants can't reach. Deep within this labyrinth lies a secret that only you can discover yourselves, the truth of who you really are. Seek out the keys that will open your heart and mind to the truth, your true names, and offer them to the altar of memory. Remember yourselves, accept yourselves, only then will you be able to save yourselves and your fallen friend as well. Good luck, everyone. May heaven's grace protect you from the shadow of despair. Our true names? I... No, that voice is right. We have to find out about our past lives. Even if it's painful, even if it scares us, we have to remember. We have to. But first, I have to find my name. Edric Ruby. I'm counting on you guys to find yours as well. And once we do, we'll finally have a chance to save Lelia. All right, so here we are. Oh, goodness. We're like most of the way into another episode at this point. So, you know what? I'm just going to like read a thing. Surely there's... Oh, uh, we can? What? Our journal? Why is it missing so many pages? Uh, what am I saying? That's not the time to worry about a stupid book. I have to find, find it. My true name. Oh, so I'm not allowed to read, huh? Uh, I guess I missed my chance to read whatever... They might have written between then and now. Uh, but yeah, it seems pretty clear to me that um, whoever endured the most trauma going up the tower is the person who would end up in Lelia's position. Which is 
actually pretty interesting because that there's that means there's like four ways that this scene could have played out. And I don't know if it's possible for two people to tie or like more than one person to endure this effect. It seems likely that only one person would be. And I don't know how it would decide tiebreakers if there were such things. A pot with filled with clear shimmering water. There's an inscription on it. Drink of me if ye be weary. Ah, oh, drink of me if ye be weary. I guess this water's enchanted too, then. Doesn't look like there's much left, though. I should use it only if I really need it. Oh. Yeah, let's just chug it right now. How about no? A sculpture of a knight. Upon closer inspection, its face bears an uncanny resemblance to Sigurd. What? A statue. It looks like... I guess this means we really are bound to this tower after all. Stone cleave. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. I get the feeling these statues are important. <laughs> Very well then, Sigurd. But I guess I can run around for like five more minutes here and just see what we're up against as a little taste before next time. Huh. Or, huh? What are... These guards! Is that a stealth mission? There's a lot of guards. Oh, I feel like I'm back in that old adventure game. You know, with the dragon that looks like a duck. Stone golems, and they're swarming this place. There's no way I'll be able to fend them all off on my own. And again, they don't seem very quick. Or bright, for that matter. Maybe I can find some other way to get rid of them. Like, sneak up and stone cleave them? Uh... We'll try it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we do. I knew it! These guys are no match for stone cleaver. I just have to remember to be sneaky about using it. Yes! Okay, well that... That'll be a fun little gimmick, I guess. Um, and I guess that pot is in case I use up my mana foolishly in other ways. You're not going to turn, are you? Oh, no, there you go. Get out of here. Maybe this is part of the reason why they couldn't make it so, like, you have to... Um, oh, gosh, this is going to be kind of a dash, isn't it? Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, maybe this is part of the reason why they needed to use, like, special common events for, like, their special attack functions on the map or whatever. Oh, up, up, up. Hold on. Actually, I don't really know how far they can see. Do I want to try that? You know, we'll try it. Let's just see what happens when they spot us. Are you going to look this direction, guy? Hey. Oh, you're not even... Oh. He turns to me. Stone guard appears. We're not allowed to run. Oh, no. Hey, the, the music is different. Uh... I mean, is there any reason not to? I kind of have a lot of MP. 502 damage. So why can't I use <laughs> Stone Cleaver in battle to defeat them instantly, hmm? That is the question, isn't it? Go down, guy. Eh. This is starting to get costly, actually. How much health do you have? Okay. That much. <laughs> Alright. Nothing to say about my astonishing s failure at stealth, so... Huh. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there for now. We'll pick up and try to figure out what we're doing next time. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time with more to Rivero the Celestial Tower. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.